Game number two will be starting with Black. Thanks for watching Crocodile Centers. Centers. We continue with the doubles playoffs action of the 2018 World Crocodile Championships. In this game we have Wilfred Smith and Lawson Lee taking on Nathan Walsh and Claire Kipfer. Both these two teams were defeated 6-2 in their opening games, so they'll be looking for a victory here to stay in the hunt for the World Championship title. Lawson Lee scoring an early ricochet 20. He's come to play today. Smith missing on the ricochet for another 20. And Claire Kipfer just short on the follow through. Nathan Walsh scores that ricochet 20. Leveling up the 20 counts. Robert Smith missing short and another opportunity for a 20. So Kipper scores that one. Walsh looking for the double takeout, it seems here. And he gets it, but he rolls a little bit towards the hole. Chance for Wilfred Smith. He'll score the 20. Advantage still to Kiffer and Walsh, though, with the hammer. Hammer and two discs on. So that's in a decent spot for Kipra Walsh, not too close to the 20 hole. Uh, Wilfred Smith will be going for the fall through 20. It's a mess of it there, doesn't get the takeout either. Claire Kipper will just, just be satisfied with the takeout. And that's okay as well. Three red discs on the board, none of them near a 20. No real opportunities for the PEI team of Lee and Smith. A double takeout there from Lawson Lee. Last shot for each team here. Wilfred Smith needs a 20 here to put the pressure on. Doesn't get it. So just one takeout needed for Claire Kipfer. And that'll do. Two points to Kipfer and Walsh here to start off game number two. These two teams have a history of playing uh, against each other. And it was actually the first time that, that Kipfer and Walsh partnered up that they were at the 2012 Prince Edward Island Provincial Crokinole Championship Tournament and they played Lawson Lee and Wilfred Smith in the finals and ended up winning that match. Lee and Smith, one of the best teams comes out of Prince Edward Island. Previously their best finish at the World Championships was a fifth. They'll be looking to do better that today. Yeah, the early edge in this second round. Oh, I didn't, I didn't play. Kipper will be going for a ricochet 20 here if you can try to squeak one through the pegs. Just taps it on. Walsh's takeout ends up in a good spot for them. Tough shot for Smith. He gets it. So you can guarantee here if Lawson Lee takes out this red disc that Walsh is going to be trying to stick another one behind the pegs. She does. Another tough shot for Wilfred Smith. And he gets it. He even had to negotiate his own disc there. But a good solid take up from him. Kipper missing on the follow through. I think Lawson Lee will be going for the 20 here. 
This is it. Still leaves his own disc in an okay spot. Walsh going for the ricochet tap 20. Beautiful if he can make it. Does not. Walsh says it's a tough shot, but worth going for. <laughs> and Kipper just touches the peg on the way in, does make contact. <laughs> Not the easiest shot for Lawson Lee either. Red disc is sitting right on a peg. And he does lose the shooter on it. Walsh going for the follow through and it doesn't turn out well at all. Moves both of his discs to the outside. That will not help. Kipper's going to lean across, go for the follow through, and does get a double takeout and leaves the disc in a pretty good spot. So, this is a tough shot for, for Lawson Lee. Just gets it a little bit fortunate there. Another follow through 20 opportunity here for Nathan Walsh. It's up on the left side of the hole. A good spot for Smith and Lee. I think Smith can just score a double takeout on the, the two discs in the 10. Forces Kipper to shoot off to the side. Beautifully done. Keeper can't bring that one into the middle, so a hit and stick on the one in the 15 for Lee will get the two points for them. And he does. So 2-2 two, two in game number two of the World Championships. Lots of near misses in that round, which is what a lot of doubles action is like in Crokinole. Near misses. And if you can be fortuitous and perhaps play strategically well enough to not leave some easy 20 opportunities for your opponent, and you can get away with those near misses. And there's a near miss that's sitting right next to the hole. Some lead. A near miss that's far away from the hole. Missing on the ball through 20. I think Lee will see a ricochet 20 here. This team isn't afraid to go for 20s even if they're ahead. And he gets it. There too. This disc is a little bit in between for Claire Kiffer. He decided he didn't want to go for the 20, so just the takeout's an okay spot for now. Walsh is going to use this opportunity to hide another disc, I think. Especially because Kiffer will have a chance at a 20. On the disc in the 15. Tougher shot for Smith here to go through the pegs. Loses the shooter. Kipper trying to get that touch 20 to go. No. Hanger opportunity now for Lawson Lee. And he gets it. 220 edge. Walsh missing on an open 20. Hasn't had too much success with those in either this game or, or in the first game of these playoffs. Another mistake from Smith does leave Kipper and Walsh a chance at this. Three 
Lucas on the board. They might have a shot of pulling this out. So if they do have the hammer, even despite being down 220s. But Lee might be putting this round out of reach, scoring a third 20 there. Or sorry, to put them up 320s. Walsh brings it back down to two. And the two discs and the five aren't going to help. Kipper and Walsh being down two twenties. Need forty points on the board to just tie this round. Some take up for Lee here and stay back would should be okay. Well, rolls to a spot that it leaves a rebound 20 possibility for Walsh to tie the round. Uh, gets a little bit of a move, but nowhere near the line. And only 35 points on the team uh, on the board for Red. Means Lee and Smith score another two points to lead 4-2 heading into the final round of game number two. Misses short, but it's on the near side. He employs that strategy of leaning over to his left side because he is a left hander. And if he does miss on the near side, it's usually a tougher shot for the opponent. Walsh doesn't make that hanger 20. For Lee and Smith. <laughs> a big help to them. Not sure that Claire Kiffer really wanted to take that shot, but uh, Walsh is trying to be convincing. He knows that this round is uh, running a little bit at, at a time. And they, without the hammer, need to, to get a lead early in this round before the 13 minute mark is up. Tough 20 here. They gotta go for it. Angles aren't quite lined up for a red 20 there. They makes it a 220 edge. Yeah, good displacement. Smith there, right on the bag. No real opportunities for Kipper and Walsh, and Lee and Smith are in a very comfortable spot here. There's the horn, they did run short on time, and it will be Lawson Lee and Wilfred Smith winning 6-2 in this game in the 2018 World Pro Championships.